Kicks 105.5. Good day to you. I'm Sean. Joining me is my buddy, Mike Barrett from Barrett Insurance Agency. Good day. Did you sputter out when you were saying your name, or are you just going by a single name now, Madonna? I was <laughs> thinking about changing it to a symbol, uh, like a bathroom <laughs> unisex symbol. I'm not sure. No, but. I'm thinking no peeing on the tree symbol. That's, well, that's... The other day, I actually went out to a restaurant, and I was like, honestly, what am I? What am I? A, am I a... No, I'm not one of those. And I stood there looking back and forth. I can't remember where we were eating. And I was like, this has got to be easier somehow. <laughs> so then I just watched for the dude. And then it was like, oh, he made there, it right. I'll there you go. Him, yeah, so. I always have to remind Ethan, you're a man, man. Ah, yes. Or a bloke if you go to Outback or, uh, you know, you're a <laughs> seaman if you're going to Riley's Fish Shack. So, there, you, there you go. Uh, so a couple of questions uh, on my little list here this morning. Uh, they stem from conversations, for the most part, that I have. With my daughter through the week. She's the one that actually is like, I don't understand this. And, uh, you know, as a young person, I guess it's important for them to know because those are the clients that will be replacing your aging and, uh, unfortunately, people who are uh, will no longer be with us shortly. Sure, so. yeah. Um, me and you on television, like the general and Shaq, what do you think? Uh, <laughs> that was a suggestion. That was a suggestion, by, was a by, suggestion. by your daughter? Uh, but she also said, why is it that the general talks about... Would you uh, be the general or would I be the general? Well, you would because you're short. <laughs> and I'm stocky. <laughs> no, you are, you are Shaq-like. Yes, I yeah. am. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Uh, but, you know, she wants to know, how is it that the, somebody like this can can do coverage and i said from my understanding it's just the least amount of coverage and then they highlight that and make it sound like hey you got problems no problem uh you know each state has its bare minimum we're going to just sell you the bare minimum and that's that is more or less that the answer you could sell crappy low oh, insurance i at, can at the bare minimum yeah but it wouldn't bode well i mean it wouldn't no. it wouldn't be advantageous for me and if i had an incident i'd sure come back and be like well dude why did you just give me this little thing let me tell you that you're you're on a good you have a great point going this morning this so is why I'd be and shocked. i'm not going to name anybody okay. specifically uh no captains no no uh no uh no uh, lizards, lizards no or anything like, like that, that. Uh-huh. No, no no fluorides um so, but it's all about method of delivery, okay? okay. So you're going to see these commercials for these companies that are offering you com- uh, insurance so easy. You just go online or go through an app on your phone or call a toll-free number, and boom, you can get this insurance. And you know what? That's that's nice. It's convenient for people. But here's the problem: is when you do it that way, you, you don't necessarily have the full-on dialogue with somebody of getting an understanding of what these coverage components are. And when that happens, what's the primary thing that you're focusing on? Well, price. Yeah, and you're also at the time that something happens, you're scared. Um, and and you've got you know because from experience of having a collision in my own case, my daughter's been in an automobile mm-hmm. accident. Uh, you're gonna call back up to that one eight hundred number. It's gonna send you to somebody down in Honduras, and they're <laughs> gonna go. It's very unfortunate that you have crashed your car, <laughs> but that is not covered under your policy. At that. You sound like you're speaking from somebody that you spoke with. <laughs> you have no idea the so, things I've been through. But there's two there's two things to think about here. First and foremost, when you're looking at price, you are going to be potentially undercutting coverage. So state of Vermont minimum, and I'm not going to talk state of New Hampshire. We'll just talk state of Vermont for this example, but know that New Hampshire is very similar. Okay. If state of Vermont says, hey, look, if you want to drive legally on our roadways, here is the compulsory law. Here is our requirement for liability coverage that you have to carry. The minimum is 25,000 bodily injury per person, 50,000 bodily injury per accident and ten thousand property damage liability. Now what is that? That's average what, person, that's like a hundred bucks a month. I mean am yeah, I, I mean you're not there? saving a ton of money by doing that. So so that's what we're gonna have. You're gonna have uh in that coverage, think about it. You get an accident, you kill somebody, the most that's gonna happen is the most that's gonna get paid is twenty five thousand from your insurance to that party or that party's family uh that you have horrifically maimed or mur- or killed or what have you. You're They're still liable you. for more than that. So yes. you're, you're, what you're doing is you're buying the frontline baseline coverage of here's what protects my bank account. Here's what protects my home. Here's what protects my college fund for my son or daughter. So if you don't have proper coverage, guess what? They're going after you personally. They're going to put a judgment on you. They're going to put a lien on your home. Uh, there, there's a million and one ways to Sunday they can do that. So that's a scary prospect. And first and foremost, we don't actually sell limits that low at our office. We can. All of our companies offer it as uh, an agency, we have made the decision we will not sell that low because we don't believe in it. Right. Um, and then you also many times won't have medical payments coverage on these direct policies. And that's because when you add coverage, it costs money. And of course, we're going to bottom line price. So now you've gotten in an accident. You've got a $5,000 health health insurance deductible. You have all these injuries. 
you have no medical payments in your policy, so you're you ha- you're out five thousand dollar deductible. If you had medical payments in your policy, you could have a thousand, two thousand, three thousand, five thousand, ten thousand, something- twenty five thousand medical payments to help you with the initial. Expense. If you owned your car, if you didn't own your car, this wouldn't even be a conversation that you could have, right? Well, because you, you would have to have uh, the liability and the whatever for fully insuring a vehicle that is not yours yet. So somebody else holds the title on it. So could you still yes do and no a bare minimum? You thing? can't. When you lease a vehicle, you cannot go. Some companies say you cannot go lower than two fifty two hundred and fifty thousand five hundred thousand. Okay. Because when you lease a vehicle, the lease. The leasing company is co-owner of that car, so it's debt. You know, they're like, "Hey, you, if you, we get sued, they want their. You know, you need to have proper coverage." So they have that way to say it. If it's a lien, there's they don't have that. They they don't co-own your vehicle. They don't really care about your liability. They care about your physical damage coverage. Saying, "Hey, don't have higher than a thousand dollar deductible," which, by the way, is probably what you would get with a direct company. Because again, we're talking about cost savings. This is now that was just exactly what I was about to say. It's about cost savings and. So maybe I know that coming up, I'm going to have a hard, like, March, April, May. Uh-huh. Uh, can I come to you and say, hey, look, Mike, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a hard couple of months coming up. I want to make sure that I have the minimum right now. And then maybe come July, I'll want to, you know, go back up again. Understanding that I'm assuming that I own my vehicle, and these are decisions I'm making, not with a vehicle that I'm leasing or uh, trying to buy. Right. I need to have full coverage. We're going to advise you on certain ways that you can make adjustments. We're not going to advise you to lower your liability limits. We may advise you to increase your deductibles because your exposure of increasing deductibles is is straight and forward. You know, so if you're if you're if going from a five hundred dollar, yeah, then you just pay more out of pocket. Exactly, and then you would cover the. If, if I if I take you from let's say you have a hundred thousand uh, bodily injury per person, and you go well, I need to save money. Okay, well let's ba- let's bounce you down to fifty thousand. Well, now I'm exposing you by fifty thousand dollars to save you pennies. Whereas if I go, hey, you get a five hundred dollar deductible, let's go to a thousand for a little while, and you know that if you have a loss, your biggest maximum out of pocket extra expense will be five hundred dollars. I love how you say saving me pennies, but in reality, it's like a dollar a day. It's, it's so, somewhere in that ballpark. I'm not going to name any names, but I have quoted people that I have seen with companies such as what we're discussing with that had no medical payments, had state minimum liabilities, owned their homes, had bank accounts, had assets, had things to lose, and just thought they were fine because they had gone and gotten their own insurance. And when I looked at it after quivering and, and being in the fetal position for a while, I called them and said, this is a big exposure for you. And I will tell you, in more cases than not, I am equal or less or just a smidgen more than what they're paying with 10 times the coverage. So I, I decide that I'm going to be stupid. I go with one of these. I go, oh, this is a terrible decision. Uh, I bail out of it. I come back to you. How much uh, time can go by before I can jump back to another insurance agency? Or how much uh, can things change without there being some kind of penalty? To There's pay? no penalty to changing. There so is you no can penalty. change as many times as you want. Okay. Uh, so if, you, if you've got a multiple vehicles and you like driving this vehicle today, we'll put coverage in that vehicle today. You want to drive another vehicle tomorrow? Let us know before you drive it. We'll put that coverage in a vehicle for tomorrow. You know, So if you have vehicles that are in storage, you have flexibility. If you want to change companies, not a good idea, but there's nothing saying you can't. Okay. Um, so things to think about this morning for well, sure. We've talked about having your vehicle like inside your garage, which would be covered under something different. No. Okay, my bad. <laughs> if your vehicle's in your garage and you have no coverage in that vehicle, there's no coverage in that vehicle. Okay. If your vehicle's in the garage and you have coverage with comprehensive coverage, then fire that a hurt curse to the house would be paid out by the auto policy for the vehicle. If I couldn't afford my insurance and it's not covered inside my garage, if I put it in my living room, would it be no. cheaper? No. 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 Honestly. No, no. I, I know I say that. Vehicle jokingly, subject but... to motor, anything subject to motor vehicle registration is excluded from property coverage, which would be uh, automobiles, motorcycles, ATVs, UTVs, you know, the side by sides, uh, and snowmobiles. Okay. So somebody steals a snowmobile off your, out of your garage and you have no snowmobile policy in place, you are out a snowmobile. So your homeowner's insurance would Nene. not cover that. There are endorsements available that you could specifically add either a snowmobile or an ATV, not a motorcycle, not a vehicle, not a car. But ATVs and snowmobiles, some companies will allow you to specifically add it. We advise against it. Uh, we think it's, more, it's cost prohibitive and doesn't have as good a coverage as it would have if you had a separate policy. If you want to find out more about the yay or the nays, uh, as Mr. Barrett has, you can call Barrett Insurance Agency by calling. 748-5224. Visit us online at thebarrettagency.com. We are physically located on Portland Street in St. Johnsbury. Google, Facebook, and YouTube, Albert Insurance Agency. We have three minutes. Do you have a song short enough to go here? 
Yeah, if, Don't song. worry about my job. I'm worried about. I want to. No, I want to make sure that Say you can goodbye. time up to the top of the hour Say and everything. Say goodbye. See ya.